Hello, this is Dennis Kelderman with Team Structures. Today we're continuing our series on evaluating uh, dent, scratch, gouge type damage, and in this case this morning, aluminum structure. We've talked about using uh, devices like uh, uh, calibrated drill bits, uh, wire gauges. We looked at the uh, using feeler gauges. And uh, what I'd like to uh, demonstrate today is a Sterrett depth micrometer. And I'd, I'd have to say that of all the things that, that we use, all the tools that we use in evaluating damage, this is often the, the one that's kind of my favorite and I think is the other guys as well uh, for a number of reasons. It's, it's extremely accurate. There's, there's not a lot of guessing involved. Um, I, in my, uh, another video, I, I mentioned the optical mic. As sometimes that's uh, out of the price range for some shops to own, as well as it's difficult to get it in certain places. Whereas uh, the depth micrometer allows us uh, a great deal of accuracy, and it's uh, relatively small. Uh, sometimes the width of the shoe can be difficult to get on a, a nice flat surface, but that's, that's just part of our challenges in doing our job. One of the downsides of the, the feeler gauge, drill bit, uh, wire, wire gauge type methods is that unless you're on the edge of the part, you really can't uh, get an accurate measurement. Whereas the, the uh, depth caliper allows us to be able to use it in a, a number of different positions. So the first thing that we, we want to be able to um, accomplish is to be able to zero our gauge and we want to make sure that our gauge is, is fairly straight uh, because as we rock it back and forth, it's going to change our zero. So I want to be able to press that down and I want to be zero at that point. Okay. And there right now. So we'll drop into the damaged area. For on this particular depth caliper, for every one sweep, we have 50 thousandths. So as you can see on the dial, we go 25 thousandths here, and then there's an additional 25, of course, added together are 50 thousandths. We have got on this, uh, this is a hail dent, really a ball peen hammer dent. Um, and we have an entire sweep plus six thousandths. We have a, a 56 thousandths area of damage. What I really like about uh, this device is that I can just go back to that 56. I can crawl through the damaged area and find out just exactly how quickly that depth is developing. I can bring it back out here to my zero point. I can kind of comb the area and that's really nice if for instance uh, I'm looking at a an area that's scratched uh, for instance. Um, I can just walk that along. You can't see that one there but whole idea is to be able to use that that sharp needle point in our favor. Well, that's our demonstration today on the depth caliper. I hope it's been helpful for you. Uh, if you have any questions on evaluating any type of structural damage, give us a call at 316-517-6061. That's our team structures line. Or send us an email at csstructures at txtav.com, and we'll be glad to help you. Thank you.